Jimmy Thang from MaximumPC.com here today, and we're here at uh, Dolby's uh, CES booth, uh, pre-CES booth, and I'm here speaking with Roland, is that right? That's correct. Okay, cool. And we're checking out uh, not only a 4K, not only a giant 4K TV, but it is also 3D without glasses. And can you kind of talk about that? That's all very new. Can you sort of talk about the whole entire experience and, and technology behind it? Absolutely. So we've uh, recognized that uh, 3D viewing in the home isn't really going to happen until we can finally get rid of the glasses. And that's exactly what we've done here. So we have implemented the greatest and best possible 3D viewing experience without the need for glasses, but also without any compromises. So we're offering HD quality 3D. Uh, we're offering great depth. We're offering uh, very comfortable viewing so you can sit at any place in any location in your living room and get the 3D effect. Uh, but you can definitely get rid of the glasses and this applies to television products like we're seeing here but also to tablets, uh, smartphones and PCs. Yeah, and uh, I've been told that if you view this from the camera uh, at home you wouldn't be able to see the depth perception uh, and just uh, being in front of it I'm slightly off axis but you can still see the depth um, it has, uh, I mean, yeah, it's it's actually pretty impressive, and it is it is sort of like your uh, a movie experience when you're wearing 3D glasses, uh, obviously without 3D. Um, and and you said you can view it from like any any off angle, and it works pretty well. Yes, there's a pretty wide viewing angle. There are several sweet spots uh, that the display generates, and as as long as you sit anywhere near one of those sweet spots, you'll be uh, golden. There's not a single compromise that you have to deal with. It's just a great uh, experience and you know it's a very particularly important in the living room where you don't want to be obstructed by wearing glasses and we've actually shown this technology to some of the Hollywood directors and actually showed their own content back to them on our display and they really liked it. So they were first concerned that uh, this type of processing would uh, change their artistic intent but actually it's quite the opposite. They were very um, excited about it. So does it uh, upconvert uh, 2D movies into 3D or do they have to be 3D to begin with? Can you sort of explain that? Right, so it's best if the content is a 3D source. So it could be a 3D Blu-ray disc or 3D broadcast uh, or online streaming in 3D. Uh, there's also a component in the licensing package that we're offering to TV manufacturers that can also convert 2D to 3D, but that is never going to be as good as starting with native 3D content. Okay. And uh, can you sort of talk about the technology? The only other real uh, I guess you're starting to see. I, I first saw it on the 3D Nintendo's 3DS, right, where you uh, you can you know, view 3D without 3D glasses. But it was sort of kind of cheap because if you turned it up too much, you got sort of a headache. And then uh, I saw other smartphones start to do that as well. Can you sort of talk about how this is possible? Right. So the the starting point that you mentioned, uh, the Nintendo 3DS and smartphones, they they start with a concept that's called a single viewer glasses free so it's really intended for just one viewer and you have to be exactly in the right spot uh, this technology that we're promoting here is called multi-view glasses free 3d so multi-view means there will be several viewing opportunities around one display so several people can look at the same display at the same time and they all get a 3d experience and the way this is happening is uh, an algorithm that runs in real time in the in the device is converting the stereoscopic the 3d input signal into this multi-view signal in this case it uh, converts it to 28 views but other devices require 9 or 15 views our algorithm always outputs whatever the display needs and optimizes for maximum viewing comfort for maximum quality and uh, that's Dolby 3d and uh, do you guys ever experience when you're trying to watch a movie or a show that wasn't filmed in 3d are there any like weird glitches where maybe the it doesn't know how to identify what should be in the foreground versus the background? Um, so you're talking about uh, content that's been converted after, um, after shooting? Um, that works equally well. I mean, we're actually finding that um, even though the 3D um, effect is not always as, as, as uh, perfect, uh, the actual, from a technical perspective, the 3D image is very clean because it's all been rendered in the computer and uh, our algorithm can deal with either, so it's uh, not a problem. Okay, and can you talk about, I mean, I, obviously you guys are Dolby, known for your sound. Yes. And, uh, you know, to my knowledge, you guys haven't done too much in the, the visual space. Right. Can, you kind of, can you sort of talk about your, uh, your entrance in that, in that field? Yeah. So we, we, you know, about 10 years ago, so uh, we thought that, you know, we basically have done pretty much everything there is to do in audio. Um, 
and uh, we think that video is a logical extension. Uh, it's an area that we should venture into, so we did, and we, we started to develop uh, professional products in the imaging space first, so we have uh, digital uh, cinema video servers, we have uh, a theatrical 3D system uh, that is used in cinemas, uh, we also have a professional reference uh, video monitor that we launched two years ago, and this is our first consumer uh, video product, and uh, we're very proud of it, and we have built up uh, an engineering and research um, facility that is uh, very significant, is almost the same size as our audio engineering. And for this particular product, Dolby 3D, we actually teamed up with uh, Philips Research in the Netherlands, who have done over the last decade an enormous amount of research and development in the area of glasses-free 3D. And so we combined the best of both worlds, the Dolby uh, 3D technology with the Philips 3D technology, and that's the Dolby 3D package that we're offering right now. Awesome, and are you, will you guys be manufacturing your own TVs, or is it a technology that you'll be licensing? So this is for uh, licensing uh, only, so we will uh, be offering, or we are offering this technology to uh, tier one TV manufacturers, but as I said, also to manufacturers of tablet devices, smartphones, etc. And when do you think we'll start to see, uh, you know, I guess 3D-less uh, uh, TVs? Uh, glasses. 3D, glassless. 3D glass, that's such a weird, you know what I mean. I, I know. What I mean. Um, so, so we announced the technology at NAB last April. Uh, that was about eight, eight months ago. We have had a tremendous response, so we're working with several manufacturers on integrating the technology into future products. And then, yeah, hopefully in a year or so uh, from now, we'll be able to see uh, actual product that will ship. Awesome. All right. Uh, well, I mean, I can tell you from uh, first-hand experience, it actually does look pretty darn cool. I am not wearing any glasses right now, and it does look 3D. So, uh, yeah, keep your eyes out on that, and uh, thank you for watching.